there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another video. You may recall that last week I started this drawing, I deliberately did not finish it, and I asked you, my viewers, to leave your suggestions as to how to complete it. That was last Friday, this is this Friday, and I am happy to say that, oh my goodness, my viewers came through for me. They left more than 3,500, 600 something uh, comments on that video, giving me lots and lots of amazing suggestions. Let's not waste any time, let's get on to the first one. This one comes from Blue Gamer Cat Lady. Could you give the character an Ash Ketchum hat? Well, I absolutely can, but I'm not going to do it without the help of old man time lapse. So let's go ahead and do this quickly in time lapse, and we'll be back with the next addition to the drawing. All right, well, it's all sort of in black and white still at this stage. I'll be adding color later on, which I think will make this look a little more like Ash Ketchum's classic uh, cap there. But let's move on to the next one. This one comes from Hello Darkness, who says, You should draw him with Gin Shirazu's hairstyle from Tokyo Ghoul. I agree. He definitely needs to have that hairstyle. Let's go ahead and drop that in. All right, there you go. Quite a distinctive hairstyle. Pretty sure he's the only kid in the neighborhood with a do quite like this one. Let's move on to the next uh, suggestion from Crianatrix. Crianatrix. Uh, can the kid have a gap between their teeth? Oh, absolutely. That one is no problem at all. Let me go ahead and get that done. All right, he is ready to make sales today. Got that confident smile. And no, I am not going to have this gap fixed between my teeth. It gives me personality and style. Let's move on now to the next one from Archon Sage. Definitely a The Blushies Band t-shirt from your How to Draw Someone Playing Electric Guitar video. Some of you may remember that video, and I thought, hey, why not? Why not get The Blushies in there? I should say a lot of people said, he should be selling your books. <laughs> and guys, you know, I hype my books enough on this channel. I don't need to drop them into the drawings. Uh, so I'm going to skip that part, but I suppose this one comes the closest to uh, referring back to one of my own creations, the Blushies t-shirt. Let's get it done. All right, so that kind of does it for the um, drawing stuff related directly to this character. Now it's time to move on to stuff relating uh, to his little yard sale that he's doing. Um, this one has to do with the sign. It comes from Reagan Dotson. Make the S in sale a dollar sign. Excellent suggestion. Let's refocus the camera so that I can make that change. All right, so that takes care of that. Makes very clear to the customers what it's all about. Come on, people. <laughs> Open up your wallets. And now we move on to another sign-related suggestion, this one from Redeeming Earth. Please put a sign that says, We put the fun in no refunds. <laughs> I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and shift focus over to this other sign. We're going to have to maybe enlarge it because it said all sales final, but I think we need space for a little more lettering. So definitely an improvement, I believe, over what I had there before. Thank you, Redeeming Earth, for helping me out. And now that we've got the signs taken care of, we can move on to maybe the lion's share of uh, additions to this video based on the objects that he is selling here on the table. And pretty much every one of them is going to be interesting. This one from Mud Stash. He could sell Thor's hammer. Yes, he absolutely could. In fact, he will. I'm going to shift focus. I think uh, uh, we'll put the uh, hammer way over here on the uh, left, my left uh, side of the table. All right, well, there's uh, more detail needed, especially down here in these uh, little edges of the hammer, but unfortunately I'm drawing at such a small size. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do justice to Thor's hammer here. Let's move on to the next one from Holly P. How about a Homer Simpson doll as one of the sold items? I would love to do that. I don't think I've ever drawn any Simpsons character. 
uh, in any of my videos. So uh, what I'd rather do than put it over here is to shift over to the other side of the table. Let's sort of balance things out and little by little we'll fill up the entire surface. All right, not bad. I think I may need to make his arm a little shorter, though. Something feels uh, a little off here about the way I've drawn his arm. Let's go ahead and shorten it up. Sorry, Homer. <laughs> Made you too long-armed there. No! I can't do a good Homer. <laughs> you made my arm too long! Marge! Everyone's like, Krilly, don't ever do Homer again, please. <laughs> That was that was some pretty weak sauce, really. <laughs> Work on it before you try it next time. <laughs> anyway, before I embarrass myself further, let's move on to the next suggestion from Eric Silva. Draw a TARDIS. He's selling a miniature version of the TARDIS. Now this was this was one of the more popular suggestions. I know I've chosen Eric, but a number of people said draw the TARDIS and uh, I thought, hey, why not? I've never drawn that before. So let's keep with this sort of moving back and forth uh, technique. I'm going to uh, draw it over here on the other side. Okay, well this video is just uh, filled with firsts. My first time drawing a Simpsons character, now my first time drawing something from Doctor Who. Uh, and uh, who knows, maybe I can get back to both of those uh, um, uh, properties in the videos ahead. If you have any requests, go ahead and leave them uh, in the comments section. But for now, it's time to get on to another first. Not really a first in terms of the company that made it. I've done Disney stuff before, but I've never done this particular one. From Awesome Tyler Possum, love that name. How about a Stitch plushie from Lilo and Stitch? Uh, and yes, I do love the character design of uh, Stitch. I think it's high time we did a drawing. And I don't think I need to shift the camera because uh, I feel like a, a good space for it would be right over here next to our salesman protagonist. <laughs> Does he count as a protagonist? I'm not sure. In any case, let's go ahead and get this drawing done of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. You know, he's a slightly goofy looking kid, but he's got some pretty cool stuff <laughs> at his yard sale. I gotta hand it to him. <laughs> but, speaking of goofiness, this next one is going to bring us back to that. It comes from Ma'am Wybane. He should be selling potatoes with smileys that he drew on them. <laughs> Now that is the kind of randomness that we need in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and put them right in front of him. I think he should have a nice big dish filled with uh, potatoes with smiley faces on them. Let's do it. All right, well that might just win the prize for the most random, but also most creative of all the suggestions. Do you think he will sell a lot of these smiley face potatoes? It depends on what the price is. Find out what the market will bear. Now it's time to move on to a kind of a two-parter. I've got two different uh, suggestions from two different people that, unbeknownst to them, I've decided to combine into a single suggestion. This one from Karina Spark. Have him sell, have him selling a single piece of bacon for $50. Now, the idea of a slice of bacon has become a tradition now. Uh, this is the third time that I've done one of these videos, and I think it's guaranteed there will always be requests for a slice of bacon. Uh, and so this, uh, again, is representative of at least, I would say, 20 or 30 different people, if not more, who requested uh, working a slice of bacon into this one, but I wanted to make it interesting and I combined it with this one from Dragon Master. One of the objects for sale should be levitating. So there you go, folks. We're going to have a levitating $50 slice of bacon. Uh, I think the best thing, because I want to save this space for other objects, I'm going to move over here to the left and uh, draw it levitating over there. Okay, well that's definitely... <laughs> the first time I've ever drawn a levitating slice of bacon. You know, I think that uh, Kirina 
meant it to be funny that uh, a slice of uh, bacon would be sold for $50, but a levitating slice? I think that's a steal. <laughs> People would probably pay $500 for a levitating slice of bacon. Let's move on now to uh, number 14 from Emma LaFavor. LaFavor? Um, he should be selling a piranha plant from Super Mario Brothers. He definitely should, and that's why I left some space over there next to Homer Simpson. All right, well, there goes our little piranha plant. Uh, thank you for that request, uh, Emma, because I've always sort of wanted to draw one of these piranha plants. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of um, Mario, considering that I haven't done Mario uh, videos or, you know, how to draw Mario type videos. I have happy memories of playing Super Mario with my son. It is time. To move on to the next suggestion, this one coming from Vlad G. A cardboard box with tentacles coming out of it. I like that one. Uh, a lot of these are these sort of um, pre-existing characters and stuff, uh, but I'm glad that we have the uh, smiley face potatoes. <laughs> and now we're going to have the cardboard box filled with tentacles. All right, there is the box full of tentacles. I'm a little worried about Stitch down there. But he, Stitch is going to be saved by the piranha plant, who <laughs> will chew up all the tentacles at the last moment. Let's move on to our next suggestion. This one is going to be fun. It's from Sofa Fulcherson. Uh, he's selling Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. I agree, he is. And uh, happily, we have a little bit of space left over there uh, next to the TARDIS. All right, well, I thought it would be kind of fun if um, Hobbes' legs were going over the handle of uh, Thor's hammer. My apologies to the person who requested Thor's hammer. Dude, you're obscuring the drawing that I suggested. Let's move on to the second-to-last suggestion, this one from Carolyn Ryan's child. Could the tablecloth be blue gingham? Oh, it absolutely can be. Let's, um, I think we're going to have to pull back the focus so you can see the whole tablecloth. All right, well, it isn't blue yet, but we got the groundwork for uh, adding that color later on. And uh, that brings us to the very last of the suggestions. This one from Hannah, the Super Scion Mangaka. Oh, what if the house from Up is floating in the background? I love that idea. We're going to go ahead and uh, refocus one last time so as to add that last detail. All right, well, that brings us to the last of the details. It is time to refocus the camera. I'm going to add color, uh, using mainly watercolor, colored pencils, uh, probably a little bit of ink, uh, to finish off this illustration, and then I'll be back with a few final words. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this illustration. Many thanks to all of you uh, who left comments on that video. My apologies, it's impossible to uh, use everyone's suggestions. I wish, I really wish I could uh, shine a spotlight on everyone. There were so many creative uh, ideas there. But you know, this video can't be done until I add blushies. Certainly, most notably, on our main character. But then also, <laughs> throughout the illustration. Yes, even the hammer has mysterious pink blushies. <laughs> the bacon, you know the bacon gets blushies. What else? So the TARDIS? Let's get the TARDIS. A couple of barely perceptible blushies. Stitch? Has Stitch ever been drawn with blushies before? This might be a first. The tentacles get blushies? That doesn't work. <laughs> the piranha? 
over here. Homer, you know Homer's got to have some blushies. <laughs> oh boy, I think I've reached the balloon house. Blushies. Okay guys, clearly it is time for me to lay down this pencil, but first let me go ahead and grab my books so that I can thank everyone who has supported me by getting them, like Brody's Ghost, my graphic novel series. We've got the Realism Challenge, my book on hyper-realistic illustration, as well as The Drawing Lesson, a graphic novel that teaches you how to draw, and my very latest book, Mastering Manga 3. Always, I am super, super appreciative of anyone who chooses to support me by getting any of those books. But let's go ahead and wind this one down. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with another one real soon.